Aaron, is career home run number 200 significant to you? Oh, it's great. Um, just a lot of hard work with a lot of people, you know, over the years to get to this point. Um, you know, excited to get that one out of the way, and you know, plus we got a win, so let's keep it rolling. Does it mean more that you're the second fastest player in history to 200? Um, not really. I think it really matters, you know, who's the first. I think, um, but still to be able to do it in that amount of games is is, is something special, and we'll enjoy that. But. Uh, you know, it's over with. Now time to get ready for this last game against the Royals. Just out of curiosity, do you know who is first? Ryan Howard, maybe? Well done. Yeah, he's, he's, he's hit a lot of homers over the years and saw a lot of highlights of him. But um, now nah, he's still got that crown. <laughs> Aaron, I know it's a question you started to be asked already, especially after the past couple of weeks, but with, with Maris, obviously a very special record. Is that something that you even enter your mind or how do you how do you look at that with the kind of pace you're on right now yeah you, you can't you can't look at it you know people are going to keep saying every game you know you're on pace for this on pace for that but that's just that's all speculation you know you never know what's going to happen so for me i just got to keep working hard you know keep my head down doing what i can you know, to help this team win games and you know at the end of the year we can talk about you know what we finish at and you know how it feels Aaron, a lot of these numbers over the years, you talk about how they're really not at the forefront of your mind and they don't mean all that much to you. What is the significance of 200? Why was that a meaningful number for you? Uh, just so I can get past it. Uh, me and Hicksy were kind of, me and Hicksy were kind of racing. He was, he's about to get to 100. I was trying to get to 200, so we had a little, little race going on. But you know, we got past it. Now um, we can kind of move on. You know, anytime I feel like the big numbers, it's always tough to kind of get past those, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, um, 100, 200. So to get out of the way, plus a win, um, pretty sweet. Karen, what do you remember about your first home run? I remember I was nervous. I remember I was trying to just put the ball in play and get back to the dugout as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I could. Um, I remember just thinking about, you know, Tyler Austin's homer in front of me and how excited I was. And then, you know, for me to go up there and do the same thing, I. I don't even remember, you know, around the bases or, you know, half of what happened that day. But uh, um, that, was quite a, that was quite a long time ago. <laughs> Do you think it's going to get tougher to start seeing strikes, Aaron? Do you think guys are going to start pitching you around? I mean, it's hard to say pitching more carefully, but do you think, like today with the two walks and going forward, do you think you could be getting a lot more of that? A lot yeah, of that um, just some of the struggles I've had during the year have been, you know, situations where, you know, teams aren't going to give in and, you know, when you – you kind of chasing stuff out of the zone, so it's it's just about me being disciplined and you know trusting my teammates. And that's what it's about. And you know, if I'm not going to get anything to hit, you know, get on base for you know Benintendi, Rizzo, whoever's behind me, and you know let them do their job because we got a great lineup. And you know when you get traffic out there, it's it's tough for any pitcher. I gave it to my parents. I think they still have it at the house, so maybe they can take this one too. So we'll see. What's that? We did. We did. Yeah. How are you a different hitter than you were when you hit that first one? Um, different approaches. Um, seeing major league pitching for, you know, six years also helps you, you know, get a better game plan, better approach. Um, just I think that's the biggest thing, you know, actually, you know, talking with with a rod a lot. That's one thing he said. It's you work your way through the minor leagues and you get good at one level, then you move up and it's a whole new level. But when you're in the big leagues, it's that's the highest level, you know, so you get to face a lot of guys over and over and, you know, kind of get a better routine, a better game plan. So um, I think just at bats, getting at bats is what's really been the biggest difference. Did you have to have a big negotiation to get the ball back? Uh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I had a good family.